Good morning, everybody. This is 6.30 a.m. We have done a little bit of changes to the farm. Uh, we have... Hang on, I feel like my microphone's not doing too great here. Is this any better? Is that a little better? Okay. It's a little bit better. Turn up the game volume just a little bit so y'all can hear both. Okay, so basically what we've done is we have changed basically all the lights. They used to be them football stadium lights uh, right yonder. And we replaced them with the regular or the better looking street lights. And yes, we have maxed out our money. Take a look here. We got $1.855 million in debt. All right. So we have totally maxed out our money at $494. Up there in the right-hand corner, that is all we got left. But the good thing is the farm is about where we want it. We're starting to get some oats popping up here. Uh, hopefully the horses are doing okay. Um, I haven't checked on them lately. Hopefully they don't need water or anything right now. Uh, looks like they're still kicking pretty good. Water still flowing. Let's check their oats. Um, I wonder if you have to clean up after them. That's that's one thing that I'm unaware of. It looks like they need to possibly be ridden. We're gonna take uh, we're gonna take this pony Turbo and take him out for a spin. And uh, just kind of go riding around. We're going to just ride around the uh, property here. Just to show you guys kind of what we're doing. Now, I meant to line this down through here with lights. But, unfortunately, I was unable to. Um, pretty much ran out of money. Come on, Turbo. Kick it up and go, buddy. I think this is a Palomina. We actually used to have these kind of horses in real life. Man, they are pretty. Not gonna lie. I'm just gonna cruise this dude back here and show you guys what I have in mind. This may be what we work on today, but really, I mean, we don't have enough money and you can't really see it. Okay, so we're gonna have to wait till the sun comes up. Uh, well, speaking of the sun, it just popped up a little more. All right, so we're going to be riding back here. Um, yep, yeah, sun is definitely coming up. Turbo's just to getting it out here. We're doing great. So basically out here, this is a massive piece of property. And I want to, I want to turn it into like a vacation getaway house you know what i mean like we're way out here in the sticks you know away from civilization just kind of want to make it where this is just like a nice little getaway place i'd like to build a little horse corral out here so like i could put my horses in if i wanted to um so i could transfer them between you know the two like if I wanted to, I don't know, ride a horse out here and park it and not have to worry about bringing a truck or anything and just really get into the western feel of living out here. You know what I mean? Instead of having old horse just chill out right here, it would actually be in the stable, you know, and then you can actually have a nice little horse ranch out here. I feel like that would be pretty cool. Uh... And then you could just like train them and ride them out there in the field. And you got a nice little getaway place here. Maybe put a tractor and something down here, you know, so you could feed them and set up like a storage area in there. Now, we may end up doing that, you know, moving the horse stable uh, where it's at now and just bring it back here. 
because I mean this is just this is awesome you know farm simulator 19 you can cruise around on a horse you know it's kind of cool some brings back like a western feel to it uh, the only thing I need now is a cowboy hat and they got the mod out there but everyone I downloaded it didn't want to work that good for me so I don't know maybe I didn't do something right or something but it was really screwing up the game but yeah I think we're gonna put down a horse stable out here eventually but we're gonna have to make some money before we do that and we're gonna fence this property in really good and uh, just make it I mean the horses probably could really run around out here for you know freely if they decided to but um, I don't know if they would actually be fed and be you know healthy doing that so I might actually have to put a horse stable out here a little horse corral and then they can live off that what'd be cool is have like a horse barn you know you could sit out there and then you could like give your horse manicures and stuff man it's getting a little crazy but i mean hey some people out there they do that they take care of the horses so i can't blame them you know the horse is a good expensive piece of equipment all right let's ride over here um well what i forgot to tell you guys is we had a uh we had a guy he was looking at the um at the property and uh, he wanted to go ahead and move in all right just hang out right here for me turbo I'm gonna hop off you for real quick so basically he came over here and uh, he checked it out I don't want to spook him he's probably in there still sleeping or whatever and uh, he checked out the property he said yeah I want to do it and uh, he's gonna pay us thirty eight hundred dollars a day y'all now this is some serious money this guy he's doing something with his life and he is doing great at it so he's gonna help us out a little bit so that'll be wonderful all right giddy up turbo and jump all right they're not really eating this bell of hay so i don't really know what to do with it i guess i'll just stack it up over here for now all right well anyway uh, we'll let them do their deal and then one day this is going to turn to grass so hopefully my renter jerry over there will let me mow it and bell it and if that's the case i need to buy the belling equipment so we can get a tether we can get a wind rower and uh, we can get us a nice mower because the more we have right now uh, it's not going to be sufficient for the hay field this is basically just a chore tractor type mower deal set up here uh, and if you've seen the last episode you've seen that we was using a mower to mow this which done exceptionally well uh, it was a John Deere stand behind or walk behind mower right here and uh, this thing it does great um, so but it definitely ain't fit to cut a big old field I did a little more mowing over here didn't do a whole whole lot uh, we did this with the uh, Massey Ferguson some of it some of it we did with the walker or walk behind rather and then obviously the grass don't grow under the trees that well uh, but we still we still got a lot of mowing to do over here by the barn we got to mow it around there um, we just got a lot to do I need to level this ground while I'm here so I don't forget because I keep forgetting to do that another thing we did is we added this building back here um you didn't see this in an episode because this is something that we did uh, just recently and it's got a place you can store bales I already threw a bale in here it looks like there's some bales up here but i promise you there's not these are not legit bales these are just for looks this actually is a, this is this is a real bale i brought this in here um so we could definitely start putting bales in here if we wanted to 
um, probably Hay and Straw. And then back here, we can dump straw. So whenever we, uh, whenever we get the straw this time from the fields, uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bale this field over here, get all those bales, store them up in there, and in the other fields, I'm going to collect the straw. So I'm going to have to lease a, um, a loading wagon. And I think... I've got one in mind that I want to get right here. This is what I want to get. This thing right here, man, it holds uh, 153,000. It's kind of unrealistic, but this right here, this will make the job so much easier. It's $100,000. <sighs> I don't know if I should lease it or if I should buy it think I want to buy it but we'll save that for another day we're definitely going to need something for the uh, the grass field it's not really that big of a field so this is 8.7 this is 6 let's go with 6 here and uh, I think this will be fine for that field it requires 60 horsepower all right let's look at the uh, wind rowers I don't want a real big, big one, but I think this one right here will be sufficient enough. It's eight and a half meters, and it requires 35, so I think that'll be great for that. And I think that's all we need, because we already got a beller. Uh, tether, wind rower, beller. Yeah. And we need a just like a a good a good chore tractor i mean we got some chore tractors in here he's 150 horse uh that's more of our uh crop protection tractor this one this is a i think this is the loader tractor this one is 86 horse uh this one should do it oh you know what we need we need a mower this may not be a smart choice, but we're going to do it. See, like, I feel like if you do 170, you got to do 170 plus 90. 17 plus 9 is 26. So that'd be a 260 horsepower tractor to pull both of these. Um, or you could go here and do 160 plus 70, and it'd be 230. So this would be a cheaper option. But if we go look at our uh, medium tractors here, and we go to a 230 horsepower tractor, uh, you're looking at the JCB here, uh, possibly a 6R. Uh, we just really, I mean, we do got the money, but man, I'd hate to spend it on that. What about this Massey right here? Could we wonder if we could bump up oh we could put a loader on it all right we're gonna do that all right biggest it'll go is 280 we only need 230 so let's get this 7722 here and let's put i ain't got michelin's so okay uh let's put some uh i don't want standard tires we'll do wide tires and weights and uh, we're looking at almost 200 grand. All right, we're going to buy that. And then we're going to go over here to our mower setup. And we're going to get to Novacat, the modded version. So we're going to get this one. So let's buy him. Hit OK. And I want to get this one. And we're going to buy it hit okay and uh, this should uh, this should knock out the field pretty quick so here is our uh, this is our wind roar here's our tether our little Massey will be running all of that but this is going to be our mowing tractor right here and it's going to run this Novacat system from Pottinger so we're going to hop on in here there we go 
and here is our mowing setup so I'm going to uh, park this in a shed all right so we're gonna park it right here and I'm going to go close this let me go over here and try to jump across the river yeah we made it and uh, we're gonna grab this Massey in here and we're gonna start moving these implements over all right, warm up a minute. All right, so we're going to hook up to the new equipment we just bought. We're going to get the tether first. We got a weight on the front of here, so it should have no issues. All right, let's fasten to that. Let's go ahead and put it in drive here. I don't know it. It looks like it's kind of sinking too far back, but I think it's Massey old handler. Pretty good. All right, there's that. All right, hook it up here. And uh, it doesn't really pivot too well. That's a little bit off. just like stuck in one position but that's all right maybe it'll do better once you unfold it I'm gonna leave this hooked up to this where's back up in here let's hook up this beller and let's take it over all right let's back it in here there we go I'm just gonna park this Massey right in here go ahead and shut all these gates and there we go. This is the farm so far, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, that is going to do it for today's episode. Uh, be sure to tune in to the next episode when we uh, probably start harvesting all of this over here. And maybe get a tractor out here and mow this. Uh, we may use the mowing tractor since that little walking mower. It would take quite a while with the walking mower. Um, but... And again, walking more makes it look just like this, so that would be wonderful. But anyway, I got to get ready for church. That's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.